Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I updated this thing and um, I had high hopes a few months back that I would be posting pretty regularly because I was on a roll posting all the time and then I kind of hit a wall and took a break, which I think sometimes is necessary when, you know, when we want to just pause for a bit and listen to our bodies and not feel like we actually have to do, 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 which I can definitely get caught up in the middle of thinking that I have to always do instead of just be and exist and enjoy myself. So, um, yeah, it's been nice to take a break from this and just take care of myself and my emotional needs and um, you know take nice long baths um, with my free time instead of cutting up a lot of videos and shooting and just basically constantly always always creating and doing 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 um, but now I'm back um, I've taken a bit of a break and now I want to get back into it and I'm feeling it so um, it's it's great I recently released a freebie for um, my newsletter subscribers and announced it on my Instagram as well. And it's called Find Joy Through Creativity Roadmap. And basically what it is, is just um, a cute little document that you can get for free from my website. And it gets emailed to your inbox and it's got a bunch of ideas for how to get in touch with your creativity in super easy ways. If you feel like your energy is stuck or that you want to be creative but you have no idea where to begin, I highly suggest that you go to my website and download it. All you have to do is put in your information and then you get it sent to your email. And that's all you have to do and then you just have a bunch of ideas and it doesn't require a lot of investment a lot of time but at least now you can have a roadmap and a bunch of ideas to guide you in the right direction if you wish to be a little bit more creative and engage with your creativity a bit more and one of the ideas that I speak about or that I mention rather is creative journaling and I shared this in my stories and um, had a few people ask what creative journaling was and that they were interested in it and kind of wanted to um, know more about it. And so I thought I'd make a video of myself doing some creative journaling so that I could share. And anybody who is interested can just see how simple it is. Um, basically, creative journaling is just arts and crafts and journaling. Um, with journaling, I guess depending on your flavor, um, you can get really into things, really deep into subjects, or maybe you just kind of, I don't know, recap your day or say what you're grateful for or whatever it is. I tend to go pretty deep into my journaling um, and it sometimes has no purpose whatsoever. It's just a ramble jumble of words and um, that tends to help me in my mental health a lot. For creative journaling, I don't go so deep into it myself. Um, I like to maybe write like lessons that I've learned recently that really stuck out to me. Um, things that I find really interesting that I read in a book, a quote that I really liked. Um, this time I wrote about my North Node and because I've been learning a lot about astrology lately and um, I'm just fascinated by everything and um, was learning a lot about my north node in Pisces according to tropical astrology and the whole sign system and so I wanted to write a bunch of reminders to myself about you know what the north node um, in Pisces means and things to kind of keep in mind because according to astrology the north node is what you need to develop in this life in order to fulfill your higher self and higher calling and destiny which I find super fascinating and also it has to do with past life and karma um, and you know with your north node that's supposed to be what you have in this life like what your lessons are in this life and your south node is like the karmic part I guess well I guess they're both karmic but um, the south node is supposed to be 
the, the kind of qualities you had in previous lives. And so it's supposed to be what you're already really good at and what you have more than enough of. And your North, north Node is what you need to develop in this life and what you lack. So I find that really fascinating. Um, and, and I wanted to journal about it and so that I can keep in mind and just look in this journal whenever I want. Just easy, you know, short sentences that are to the point just about things to keep in mind in order to continue developing myself and um and just ways to to help myself and be more mindful of my Achilles heel and um hopefully you know just grow as an individual through this reminder of things that um you know things to work on in order to develop my soul in this life oh that is a song by the way that i was playing on repeat for ages uh, while I was journaling because it just hit the spot. I had this very moody playlist on and um, When that song came on I had never heard it. I was like, what is this? It's amazing and I just played it over and over and over again, Like literally 15 times in a row or something with creative journaling. I find that um, sometimes Really simple easy things like this because I consider this quite easy like you can go as you know extensive and you know arty and beautiful and perfect as you want um, with creative journaling but I actually don't recommend that I think creative journaling um, is really like a nice introduction for when you want to get in touch with your creativity and it's a nice gentle easy way to ease back into it it's really relaxing there is no right or wrong way to do it and it's very personal because nobody has to see it, not unless you're making a video of it on the internet. Um, nobody has to see it. And it's totally okay if it's really quote unquote bad, you know, and if it's not living up to the standard of what you hoped it would be. And it's totally okay, obviously, if it's amazing and surpasses your expectations. Um, there is no right or wrong way to do this. And there's no pressure for it to be amazing in any way, shape, or form. And with the freebie that I created, the Find Joy Through Creativity Roadmap, all of the suggestions that I make are simple. So I mention, you know, having a dance session by yourself or going for a photo walk and photographing five different things that you find cool or that just attracted your attention in this walk. Um, Everything that I mention can be done by literally anybody. And it's also just a cool way to get in touch with yourself and have a bit of time to yourself and, you know, allow yourself to express however you want without any judgment. And I think sometimes we stop ourselves from being creative and engaging in creativity because we, we kind of shoot ourselves in the foot before we even begin based on these expectations we place on ourselves, based on other artists that we look up to, and we judge, you know, where we're at compared to where they're at, and then just go, well, why even try if I suck? <laughs> and, you know, I think we forget that creativity is about the process and not the result. And th I know that that's easier said than done, and it's, you know, probably sounds like one of those cliches, like, I don't know, live, laugh, love, and like focus on positivity. And it sounds like, like lame, but um, I think it's really important to keep that in mind because I, I genuinely find it to be true. Um, the times that I create with little expectation of what's going to come after and just create for the joy and sake of creating because I want to just make an idea come to life, I find that I enjoy everything so much more and I, and I connect to myself more. When I create basically just because, I don't know, I want one of my photos to be published, um, the joy of it gets lost when I don't get the result that I wanted. And it detracts from the entire experience because I'm only focused on what I want to get out of it. And I think with creativity in particular, because it can be so therapeutic and because it can be so personal and because it can be so healing, you rob yourself of all of those things when you're only focused on the result. 
instead of enjoying and focusing on the process, which is really the point of it. Um, Through the creativity roadmap that I made, my hope was to encourage people to get creative through very simple ways and to take away the intimidation that can come with engaging in creative hobbies and just you know help people realize that it's as easy as literally planting i don't know a lavender seed and then watching that plant grow like that itself is a creative act it's basically something that you want to do and then you follow that calling that's what creativity is and it's removing the judgment that you have that gets in the way of you following that calling. Um, And I think this practice, because that's what it is, it's everything is a practice, um, takes time. And at first, just like anything, when you're not used to it, is scary. Um, But it's 100% worth it. And, you know, when I first started to take my creativity more seriously, um, and by seriously, I mean really actually engaging in it um, regularly Um, I had all kinds of judgments for myself and I remember you know I was a teenager and I was going to a therapist and he actually encouraged it as a way for me to um, help myself through my eating disorder that I had at the time and it fucking helped 100% helped Um, and it's because you know I had a lot of pent-up energy that I wasn't releasing in any productive way other than sometimes when I would go jogging or um you know or actually just going to the gym and exercise over exercising actually so it wasn't a healthy uh I didn't have a healthy relationship to releasing energy and being aware of where my energy was and how I felt and through starting to paint um I started to heal And through journaling and writing a lot more because I, I, you know, there's, I've been journaling since I was about in third grade, but um, there's been times that I've taken time from it and haven't journaled. And those usually have been some of my worst times, you know, in life when I haven't journaled. And um, it just made me realize that it's very important, I think, for mental health to to have a release of some sort. And for me, it happens to be in creativity. And I think for anybody, it can be helpful to engage in some kind of creative hobby as a way to move through difficult times and move through um, mental health challenges. And that's not to say that it should replace a therapist by any means, um, but it can definitely be a tool to help. So that's why I encourage everybody to get in touch with their creativity to do something even if it's small like you know planting flowers or creative journaling or just singing in your car whatever it is that makes you feel alive and makes you feel good and that you feel an inkling for but the problem lies in stopping yourself when you feel that call you know when you feel like gosh i just want to go to a dance lesson but and then you think, oh, but, you know, I've, I've never done a dance lesson in my life. Why would I ever do that? I'm going to look stupid. I don't know how to dance. And then you, you cut yourself off before you even start. And then you have all of this pent-up energy that's still not being released and all of these judgments about yourself. So, um, you know, take this as your permission slip to just try what it is that you have been ignoring for a while. Whatever that calling is, just follow it little by little. And I don't want to promise because <laughs> I don't want to make promises I can't keep, but I can almost guarantee, almost with like pure certainty, but not, that you'll feel better for it. I do want to remind anybody who's watching that creative journaling doesn't have to be perfect at all and um, that anything goes and that anything that you want to put on it and the way that it comes out is okay. As you can see, I almost ran out of room when it came to writing Trust the Process and I have the same handwriting as I did when I was in elementary school, but that is totally okay. 
And I also wanted to mention that given the state of the world, um, just a few friendly reminders to anybody who's watching to continue social distancing, um, to wear a mask, and something else is I really want to encourage everybody to get involved in and to educate yourselves around the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, there's so many resources out there that will help you in educating yourself and in teaching you how to support the black community. And um, there's, there's just so many ways that you can get involved. And I will link all of those in the description of this video as well. And um, I hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful day that you are serving your community and your neighbor um, in the best way possible and that you are all being great, beautiful people um, who are taking care of not just yourselves but each other and getting in touch with your empathetic selves and um, trying to understand another person's struggle um, without getting offended and without feeling like you have to center yourself. I think this is a really great time to listen and learn and, um, and to listen to our black brothers and sisters wherever you are, whether it's the States or Australia, Canada, wherever. Anyway, I hope you're all uh, having a great day and that you find any of the links below useful and that you keep showing up as your best self today and every day. Much love.